Hello, I'm Antara Akila. Welcome to Learn Bridge Online. In the last few days, we've been talking about hand evaluation and we discussed the rule of 20 as well. Today, I wanted to talk about the rule of 22. Um, as we all know, rules are basically just guidelines or as some folks like to say, rules are meant to be broken. But these rules are pretty, pretty decent guidelines. Certainly something to remember, something to keep in the back of our minds um, because they do work most of the time. So what is rule of 22? We talked about rule of 20. To that, we're adding quick tricks. Now, for those of you who may not be thinking that much about quick tricks all the time, um, I'll do a short little recap on quick tricks and we'll see how that works. Let me bring up some of my slides with you. So, quick tricks are the number of tricks you expect to win in a suit during the first two rounds of that suit. So if the suit is played once and then the second time around, how many tricks do you expect to win? So we only take into consideration aces, kings, and queens. Any honors below that don't count. And queens only count there if they're in combination with the ace, or the king, or obviously the ace, king, queen. Um, quick tricks are also known as defensive tricks, if you've heard the term. More on that a little later. So if you've got the ace and king in a suit, that's equivalent to two quick tricks, because if two rounds are played um, of a particular suit and you hold an ace and king in them, you will get two tricks. An ace and a queen are equivalent to one and a half quick tricks. An ace alone is one trick. A king queen is equal to one trick. And a king, and king small, or king small, 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 whatever it might be, is equivalent to half a trick. We should know this, and we should be reviewing our hands and evaluating our hands uh, with this in mind. Also a great way to evaluate your hands, thinking about quick tricks uh, when, you're, when you're in the defending position, uh, when you need to balance or when you need to double a contract. Uh, more on that in another series. So let's keep going. We now understand what quick tricks are. Just to recap and review what we talked about earlier, what's the rule of 20? It's when you count your high card points and add the length of your two longest suits. If that totals 20 or more, go ahead and open. This was an example that I had used in the last video as well. We've got 10 high card points, but we've got five spades. We've got five hearts, totals to 20. We should be opening it. Let's take a look at what rule of 22 means now. So now that we know the rule of 20, you take the rule of 20, you count your high card points, you add the length of your two longest suits, and add your quick tricks to it. If you've got a total of 22 or more, go ahead and open. So looking at that example from the last slide, I've got the same example here. We've still got 20 high card points, but just, just have a look at how many quick tricks we've ha we have here. We've got the ace, which is one, and we've got the king queen of hearts that's equal to another quick trick. That's two quick tricks we can open because that totals 22. I've used exactly the same hands from I did, uh, that I did in our rule of 20 video, uh, just to show you how the rule of 22 works really well, even when you're just thinking about the rule of 20. It makes good sense. Um, you've got good enough honors and um, it's, it's gonna end up allowing you to win. And that's the reason why we're actually opening our bidding in the first or second seat. So here we had 11 high card points. We had four spades and five diamonds. That equaled to 20. We could have just gone ahead and opened, but let's also do the quick trick count here. We've got two aces, so that's two quick tricks. Definitely open. Here we've got 11 high card points. 
we've got five clubs and our second longest suit is is a three card suit which is either in spades or in diamonds so that totals 19 do i have three quick tricks let's have a look at this no i've only got one quick trick which is one ace pass this is not good enough for an opener let's look at this i've got 12 high card points I've got four spades, I've got four hearts, that totals 20 by itself, I would have opened, but let's count our quick tricks as well. I've got a king and queen, that's one trick. I've got the ace, that's another trick. And then I've got the king, small. So that's two and a half quick tricks, a really nice hand. We're certainly gonna be opening this. Here is the third example. We've got 12 high card points, four hearts, and three in any of the other suits. So that totals 19, high, 19 points. So rule of 20, I would not have opened. Let's see if we've got three quick tricks. Maybe this might be worthwhile. Um, I'm just seeing an ace here, which is one, and a king small, which is half. So that's one and a half quick tricks. That's just 20 and a half quick tricks. We should be passing this. Let's take a look at one more example, uh, somewhere where we might have just 19 points, but an opportunity to perhaps have enough quick tricks. So here's a hand with 12 high card points, four hearts, three of any other. So that's 12 plus four, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, if you just watched the Rule of 20 video, you'd be very tempted to pass this, isn't it? But let's count the quick tricks here as well. We've got three aces, that's three quick tricks, and that equals 22. We should be opening this hand. The whole idea with the Rule of 22, or the Rule of 20, or opening a hand which which is not just on high card points, is um, we can actually compete. Maybe the opponents will not be able to come in after us uh, because we've opened. It's always easier to open than to overcall. And let's assume even if they do overcall, we've got some values. We've got some quick tricks. Um, we, we will be able to have a good defense and take some good defensive tricks and take some hands and defend really well. Um, so that's the reason why quick tricks becomes important. Hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. We've got more in the series. Bye for now.